Hey everybody, it's Robin and Kevin here with you on this bright, sunny, happy Wednesday. Beautiful out there. With some brand new wines to our shop. I know. I'm always excited to launch something new. I don't know, it's just something in the wine business. We always want to give you like the newest, greatest, and latest stuff. So it's always really exciting when we get something in that has never, ever, ever been in the country before. So I know. First time, well, first time they've really been anywhere before, right? Yeah, this is a few firsts, you're right. Because this is the first time they've ever made this wine. Mm -hmm. and it's the first time it's ever been here, obviously. So, yeah, it's two firsts. All the firsts. All right. Should we get into it? Should we talk about it? Let's do it. So, this was actually a winery that I found on a recent trip to France. So, we got in just before the COVID hit, end of January, beginning of February. Got out of Dodge while the getting was good. Lucky. Uh-huh. I'm glad we made that trip because... Uh, I don't know when we're ever going to be able to go back, so I'm uh, I'm glad we made that trip and we found so many cool wineries. So I think the next few weeks are going to be fun because mm -hmm. all the all the stuff from the trip is starting to roll in now. And this is the first one, which is a great one to start at because it's a pretty interesting little winery in the Loire Valley called Chateau de Noyer. And the idea with these wines was they wanted to release something bridal. So most times when you buy wine from the Loire, right, you're buying you know, Vouvray or Puy Fumé or Sancerre or something that's named after a village. Whereas these are going to be named after the grape varieties, which is kind of unusual for that area. So entry level wines, they're all around 20 bucks, I think like 21 to 23 yep. <clears throat> for the red. And the idea is to really kind of showcase the grape varieties more so than just like the uh, village or the region they come from. So a little bit different. Should we start with the white? Let's have you had these yet? I got to try the Grolo, the red at the end, um, yeah. but I haven't had a chance to try these. And Shenan is really a variety that I've fallen in love with this year. The, the whole Loire Valley, I'm really having kind of a moment with those wines right now. Yeah. So I'm super excited about this. We decided on that trip to go to places that we'd never been to before. So within the Loire, we went to regions like Angers that I hadn't been to. The whole idea of this last trip was really like to explore some unique spots. So you're going to see lots of neat things coming in from like the southwest of France will be coming along in a few weeks and some some regions that, you know, probably a lot of people haven't heard of mm -hmm. and some really kind of esoteric fun stuff. But uh, we're really we're really excited to sort of introduce some really unique regional French wine. So jump into the Shannon. Tell me what you think. I love that Shannon can be so diverse. I mean, they use it in sparkling wine. It can range from super dry and crisp and minerally to like really lusciously sweet. Anything, um, and this right? smells like it's on that kind of mineral dry side and really, really yeah. like patio crushable. This smells like summertime. It's mm -hmm. that real like lean, crisp, yeah, stony kind of style. It's not a real fruity wine. You know, Shannon can be like mm -hmm. really, really fruity. Um, this one has just more of like a lean kind of more Chablis, like chiseled kind of character to it. That's really fun. You talk, I drink. I mean, a great girl. <laughs> I mean, Shannon's one of those great varieties that is just naturally high in acidity. Mm -hmm. um, but again, it just keeps that freshness and keeps that brightness. And I love <clears throat> the mineral note. It is super stony and kind of earthy yeah. under there. It's really fun. Get your mouth watering, eh? Totally. I really, <laughs> Chenin Blanc does that. It's just got, uh, and the cool thing with this is the alcohol is nice and low, right? All three of them, like right across the board. <clears throat> yeah, we're like 12% on that, 11.5 yeah. on the rosé and 12% on the uh, 12 and a half on the red. So most wines these days, you know, you, you're typical 13, 13, mm -hmm. five. So it's nice to get something that you can kind of chill down and crush at a picnic and hopefully still drive home or you know, walk a straight line anyway. Ride a bike. Yeah, ride a bike <laughs> with a picnic basket on it. That's tricky. I love that. It's kind of lemony, just like mm -hmm. really fresh and bright. And these are gonna be really fun wines. Yeah. So 20, 21.95 for that guy? 21.95. I like it. Jump mm -hmm. into the rosé? Jump into the rosé. So this is fine. now, we're into the Grolo. 100%, mm -hmm. which you really don't see very often. It's only in blending, smaller yeah. amounts. Um, so I'm super excited. I've never had Grolo as rosé, like on its own like this oh. before. It's actually kind of fun because I've never had 100% Grolo at all. And I snuck in here on... Uh, Sunday because I couldn't wait when these wines arrived and I bought a bottle of each and I took them to sort of an outdoor social distancing barbecue backyard thing and everybody really loved these and they're perfect I think outdoor wines mm -hmm. right they're not super serious wines they're not real heavy wines they're all just kind of like summery and light and fresh and this rosé was I think the big hit it does smell it's like really rhubarb unique. yeah that's what you're talking about it's a super different style of rosé it's not just like that strawberry kind of fruit that most give you it gives you like something I don't know, like 
to me it smells like like rhubarb but like still in the ground you know mm -hmm. where you get a little bit of that kind of leafy character it's really light clean that rhubarb really like shines through on the palette too i like that it's gonna be fun to see what people think of that it's got a really soft kind of texture to it it's not too tart and it's just got this really nice kind of like i don't know the fruit is more like almost like cherry to me mm. That's my, like, day at the beach wine, I think. Uh -huh. <laughs> I could just crush that glass without really trying very hard. That's awesome. I'm really happy with that guy. Did you go to the red? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> now so you this did is sneak the one in. that I did yeah. sneak in myself as well. I was really excited, again, to just try 100% Grolo because I hadn't had it before. Um, it's a little bit lighter in body, and really it has uh -huh. that dark-colored fruit. Um, I was reading, like, it's sort of named after a crow because yeah. the grape the skins are... It's like yeah. a crow, is that it? That's yeah. it. <laughs> okay. Um, but because it is so dark and it gives so oh, much color. Okay. That's the... I was wondering what the connection was. Yeah. All right. So it's not... Uh, it's dark like a crow. I think this smells like Beaujolais a little bit to me. Like, it's yeah. got that kind of gamay, juicy, like, really bright and fresh style. I like to chill this one down a little bit, too, and just put, like, a little, a little cooler temperature on it. Mm-hmm. It's a really kind of generous, juicy kind of wine. I think this is the kind of thing people are asking for a lot these days is maybe not like big, heavy tannic wines, but something like a little lighter on its feet, something that's more, mm -hmm. you know, lunchy, favorite word of mine, <laughs> that you can uh, you can just sort of crush a bottle. If I'm going to a barbecue or I'm going to be sitting outside, <clears throat> I mean, I don't want a 14.5% really heavy, no. robust wine necessarily. No. And this is totally going to fit the category of what you want. Little little backyard barbecue campfire for sure i like the grolo mm -hmm. we get a lot of cab franc for reds out of the loire that's the number one grape variety you see and it tends to have this like kind of bell pepper thing going on which i know is not a favorite of everybody's and this really doesn't have that right it's it more doesn't like it's light fresh generous. but it still has a little bit of earthy kind of undertone to it to just sort of balance that out it's interesting i like it like i keep going back to it <laughs> and i want more i think we're going to finish this bottle before this uh, <laughs> thing's done here it's not going to be hard Hmm. All right, so three winners. That's exciting. Three winners. So three brand new wines, Chateau de Noyer, and these are available now. You can order them online. They are up on the website. We've got them plenty of stock here in store. Come cool. down and see us. We're open. We're here today. Open on Wednesday all the way to Sunday, and uh, come by and see us.